This is the Apple Vision Pro, and I just got one to see if it could transform my productivity and workspace. As someone who really values being intentional with technology and how I use it, at first glance, the Vision Pro is almost sort of dystopian. Like you're literally strapping a television to each eye and it's probably what you would imagine as like the epitome of overstimulation. But in a way, the more I thought about it, it also seemed really minimalistic. Like imagine just having this and no computer and being able to access your workspace, change your entire environment and remove all distractions. So in this video, I wanna share my experience in using it. Some cool things that I found that you could actually do with this and why you might even consider getting one. The first time I tried this in the App Store, I was blown away. The resolution was unlike any VR headset I had tried before, and the apps literally looked like it was just floating there in the store. I was kind of making a scene, and just that 30 minute demo was enough to convince me to get it and try it out more. Once I got home and unboxed it, the first thing I noticed was just how good the build quality is. This is probably the most advanced piece of technology that I own, and it really feels like I'm in the future when I open the Vision Pro case. I also noticed that the case itself could double as a pillow. Be laying down here, and I have my keyboard. I can be like editing. What do you think? That's, that's what I want to test. Yeah, no, that's actually... I spent a lot of time and a lot of money on my current workspace. Like I tried many different setups. I currently have a standing desk. I have this like Herman body, Herman Miller and body chair. Things like even when you use a standing desk and you alternate between standing for long periods of time and sitting for long periods of time, neither of them are actually good for you because neither of them are neutral settings for your body. And so I wanna see if it was possible to use the Vision Pro and like kind of lie down on my sofa or on the floor and be able to like, you know, work, like work in it while looking at the ceiling. Cause like, that's like one of the most comfortable positions. And even just being able to like move around with my workspace. So the main feature I was interested in was extending my MacBook's monitor so that I could actually use like a 50 inch monitor or multiple like monitors. Cause right now I just have a single monitor setup. Yeah. And after I put it on for the first time, like this was actually amazing. Like even when I was trying out in the store, this was so mind blowing how high of a quality jump there was between the VR headset that I had before and this current one right now. It's so high definition, the monitors inside that it looks more high definition than reality. You can't really see any pixels except when you're using the pass-through mode. So that's when you're seeing the environment around you because it's using the cameras. And for that, it wasn't actually super high resolution, but when you open up apps or when you change the entire space, it's incredible how good that is. All right. So I can see my hands now. I can see you. Can you, can you see my eyes or anything? Yes. Can you see my eyes? Well, like this is like super high resolution. Yeah, I wouldn't say the resolution is perfect, but this is definitely like functional. Like I can cook, do the dishes, I can walk around. I think no problem. Like, you know, I'm doing this, no problem. Zero perceivable latency through the actual pass through, but the resolution is like not quite at like reality. It's kind of like as if you were looking through like some ski goggles, maybe. Okay, anyways. And then let's bring up the apps. Damn. Yeah, every time I, 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 I tried this yesterday, but every time I do this, it just amazes me how in place it is. It's like freaking, oh crap. <laughs> Apparently, if you, if you go really close to it, you can just like literally tap on them without doing like the pinch it thing, music. So I can move this around. Put this on the ceiling. Oh yeah, but let's see, where's the pillow? Ah. Yeah. I don't think I can play any of these songs. So I mean right now I'm just playing through like the available stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Let me just like look at the sky. It's crazy. Can I browse the internet? Yeah, definitely can do web pages here. There's like a mode where you can extend your monitor. Right now I'm just using the built-in apps. 
and testing that. But this already is pretty cool. Like I can put it really far away. And I can go like that. Like if I'm watching a video or something. Maybe I should try that. Yeah, this is great. In terms of the actual quality, you can definitely work in this. Like I think you can code in this. I think you can edit videos in this. You can definitely use your entire workspace in this. But after about like two hours or three hours of using this, my eyes got tired. I don't know if it's because it was so bright inside or because I just wasn't used to using this. Like maybe if I started using the Vision Pro regularly as my monitor, I would actually get used to using a monitor inside of this. One thing that surprised me was also how stable all the elements were in place. Like when you open a window, it literally just stays there as if it was actually in your room. And when I was like talking to somebody, I would be like, oh, do you see that? And I would forget that they can't see that. Like even when I like try to like look like right at it or I go behind it, it still perfectly stays in place. And I even went to the bathroom at some point and I could see that the monitor or the app was still open up in my room. And when I came back to the room, it was still in the exact same spot. With this, I tried out FaceTiming somebody and it was really convenient and cool because I could walk around to different rooms and I could hold their FaceTime and walk around. I tried like putting it on the wall, which is really cool. And I, when you bring it really close to you, it actually feels like they're right there in the room with you too. I could imagine if many people wear this, it would be easy to all work together in a room with their avatars. The persona right now is still pretty weird though. Ew, you're just floating. So I think this is good for like video conferencing. I think it's a, li a little bit more seamless because I can just call somebody. I can walk around. I can be doing something, right? Do you know it Boom. gives you different angles? Really? If yeah. I put it here, is a different angle? No, if you like move. Right now you're like on the side. Oh. This is the Apple Vision Pro. And this is me speaking inside the Vision Pro. And this is what I look like, which as you can tell, looks nothing like me. It's pretty creepy. I think when I don't move, it looks pretty realistic. I don't think I'm that angry there. <laughs> In terms of productivity apps, there isn't really that many available right now. So the optimal workflow with this is still to have a MacBook. Later on, I worked in there for several hours, mostly editing using the internet. And it actually feels like the more I use it, the better it's getting. Casey Neistat talked about it in his video, but he said that after about 12 hours of using it continuously. My brain sort of clicked and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens. And it just, it, it took what it saw as reality. That's where the, that profound moment came from. And I can kind of understand what he means. In the beginning, I would get eye fatigue after one to two hours, but later on I got used to it and was able to wear it and do normal activities. I will say if you have a studio display monitor, it's probably not as good resolution as that. So the only use case would be if you needed a super big monitor or you didn't have a monitor on your workspace. One thing that I personally found to be super trippy was when I tried playing guitar in this. Yeah, so I normally play guitar and I tried out this thing where I filmed myself with the Vision Pro playing guitar, like jamming, and then I put on the Vision Pro and watched the video sitting on the opposite side. And it felt like I was actually playing guitar with myself and I actually picked up the guitar and started jamming with yeah, myself. I can match it up to my, I can match it up so it fits perfectly in my room. I can put myself right here. Yeah. It was a super surreal experience. So I think there's also a cool use case where you can actually like do stuff with yourself. Like you could train yourself or you can play guitar with yourself, which is previously clunky and not really that possible. The spatial video is just kind of like a blurred video in your room, but it's like three dimensional. So you can see, you can kind of move around and see stuff. But when you play a video that's in that room, it literally feels like it's actually happening in that room. And it's crazy to think about how these VR applications will develop over time. Like, Maybe there will be a fitness trainer in your room or a guitar teacher that could just virtually teach you. And even though right now, maybe it's not fully at the point where I can completely replace my computer, I'm sure that we're gonna get there one day. I just put on the Vision Pro, I can see everything in front of me. There's like different virtual monitors I can put around so I can put this like, so I can put like what I'm gonna say right in front of the camera. My monitor disappears and now it's the virtual monitor, which is like super high definition. And I can put this like, so I can pretty much just like continue working as if I had a monitor, I can put it right there. The added benefit is that this is a virtual monitor, so there's actually nothing on my screen, so I have like total privacy if I was out somewhere. 
and I could put this like out here. So there's my monitor right here. I can be looking at something. Damn, this is cool. And then I could have another one right here. And I can still use my, my mouse and everything. Totally fine, no problem. And then like, let's say my desk is really messy, which it is right now because I was like filming stuff. Um, I could just turn on this feature, boom. And I'm still from the keyboard, which I know how to use, but now I'm in Joshua Tree. See, I can, I can definitely work in here. I can definitely use Photoshop. And it's like, I have so much room to work with. And I still had the FaceTime open. Are you, are you screen recording? What would I look like from over there? Yeah. So this is like really cool to do like co-working too, because I could just work with you there. And I don't need to buy like 10 different monitors and I could put stuff like behind me so I can put you like right there. And then I can be like, oh, the mic's coming. So I can like work here, then turn around, see there. So yeah, it's trippy once I take it off and I'm back to reality because reality, the, the camera inside is not as high definition, but it, it just feels trippy. Oh, my, my forehead is like all red, but yeah, this is incredible. Every time I use it, I just like totally get lost in it. And it's definitely good enough right now, even the first gen to totally work in it. And I'm going to edit this entire video in the Vision Pro. So I'm going to have an update at the end of what my experience was with doing that compared to my usual workflow. Um, my head is just like that too now permanently. I think when you compare just getting this to getting like a whole new workstation setup, like getting a standing desk, getting a expensive chair, getting different monitors, this could actually be cheaper than that entire setup. Cause like if I actually calculate it, like this is actually cheaper than my entire workstation setup. And there's even more functionality that I could have with this. I could have an infinite amount of monitors and windows, which I think is really cool. And this is only just the first gen. So I'm sure that with software updates, it's only gonna get more and more functional. And I can actually see myself using this on a consistent basis. I think I'm gonna continue using it just for productivity and being able to work in different areas. I don't really care too much about entertainment side. I don't really watch TV shows, but the demo video was really cool. So maybe once there are more movies, I'll actually buy movies and watch them in spatial videos. That's the video. Let me know if there's anything you want me to try with this Vision Pro. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's get it. Huh? There's a screen on top. There's a screen on top because it's, it's actually enclosed, so you can't yeah. see. Ready to enter the Vision Pro. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go in, go in. No, but I'm gonna see inside or if it's fine, it's fine. Okay, come on. Okay, thank you too. Ready to go in the Vision Pro. Boom. <laughs>